This might not make sense, but... Don't worry about it. Go ahead. Sometimes I... wonder if I'm a hopeless fool. Underhanded, petty, all the things I don't want to be. I'm not sure why, but... Sometimes that's how I see it. Sometimes that's the only way I see it. But in times like those, I just have to look around at the world. The life flourishing around me. Just by seeing these wonders, I become wholly beautiful. These things are precious to me. I want to learn about them as much as I can. That's probably why I keep traveling. I know this life won't be easy. There's sadness and pain on the road ahead. But I don't think that means I should quit. Hmm? I like traveling. It's fun. Even if people try to kill me. Even if I have to kill them to stay alive. That doesn't change my mind about this. Besides. Besides? I can stop anytime I want. So, I might as well keep going. That makes sense? Frankly, not so much. It doesn't have to. No? To be honest, maybe I just think I know why I do this. Maybe I'm just another lost kid. Maybe I'm traveling so I can figure all that out. Hmm. Well, I'm going to sleep now. We've got a long way to go tomorrow. <sighs> Good night, Hermes. Good night, Kino. country yet? Don't worry, we're almost there now. The last time you said that, we were two days out. That's what almost there meant in that country. Uh-huh. Oh. Hey, it's a horse. Looks like someone's there. Let's stop. Say hi. Hey there. Good afternoon. Hello. Are you two from the country up ahead? No, but I'm on my way there right now. Hey, so am I. Isn't that a nice coincidence? Say, how about you carry half my stuff? Afraid I can't do that. Same. Oh, man. And here I thought you were friendly. I could have said yes and then made off with it. Mm. I'd get there first, with plenty of time to sell it all, too. I guess. But hey, forget that. What have you heard about this country? I don't know too much about it. But someone told me that people are very polite there. <laughs> what kind of idiot told you that? It couldn't have been further off the mark. <laughs> I'll tell you what I know. In that country, you can kill people. Wait, what do you mean? They don't have any laws against murder. It's legal there. Though for some reason, it's still a crime to steal. So is that the reason why you're wanting to go there? Yeah. I'm starting a life there. In the country where I was born, law and order were stupidly high. And everyone got along out of fear. Couldn't even try starting a damn fight without getting locked up. That's why I up and left. So, what about once you've moved? Hmm? Who knows? Maybe I'll try and find work there. Ooh. Or maybe I'll find someone I don't like and kill him. I can be myself in this place, and that's what matters. Oh. Anyway, that's not all I heard about this place. They say Regal himself lives there. Who's that? Don't know him. You guys must be from deep in the sticks. Regal is a mass murderer, and he's just about world famous. He headed up a cell of bandits in the big country south of here. Some folks called him a terrorist. 
Regal got caught once, but naturally he broke out of his cell before they could hang him. That went down a few decades ago, and nobody's heard about him since. Which tells me that he must have made off to this country. I bet he's been living out his days killing freely there. Surely he's carved out his own little empire. A guy like me could learn from him. Thanks for sharing. We'll be no. heading out now. Well, come on! Ah, oh, fine. You're no fun at all, you know that? Hey, you really won't help me carry anything. Nah, it is your stuff after all. I'm sure you can manage it. Think that's it? Mm, probably. Might be dangerous if he was right. Possibly. Got cannon ready? Of course. And the woodsman? Always. In a good headspace? For now at least, yeah. Well, let's go. Just a three day stay, is it? And that motorcycle you're on, you're bringing it too? Yes, if that's all right. I should tell you, murder isn't prohibited by law in this country. Killing is legal, be you a citizen or just a visitor. Everyone within our borders is free to kill anyone they please, regardless of circumstance or motive. Do you understand that? Yes. And despite that, you genuinely still wish to enter? Very well. Go ahead. country. Hmm? Seems pretty normal to me. Yeah, it does seem normal. The streets are clean and full of friendly people. I hardly see any police. The stores don't have especially <laughs> yeah, heavy so shutters. They're even nice to travelers here. And the food's good, too. So what? By all appearances, this is an orderly society. Doesn't that seem odd? Oh, I get it. You were hoping to see gangs of ruffians strutting around. Guys knifing each other over women in the bars, maybe. Or like a mean stray dog with a human hand in its mouth. Yeah, that would have been great. Too bad. Come on. I didn't want that. I just thought it seemed likely is all. Good night, Kino. All right, Hermes. Do you feel like waking up yet? I'll come and get you once I finish up breakfast. Sound good? Now we can check out the country.
There's a little extra for you. Everyone ought to give travelers a bit on the house. Thanks, I appreciate it. Anything else I can do for you? I think I'm all set. Oh. Pardon, but do you keep that to deter thieves? <laughs> no, I've never had a robber in my store. That there is what I use to kill people. Does it get used often? That is the question, isn't it? You never know when until it's time. That's why I keep it near. You won't find this anywhere but here. Please enjoy. Kino? Life certainly is full of challenges. <laughs> well, we'd best be off. How was it? Glad we came. No regrets. Pardon, but are you a traveler? I suppose you must be. <laughs> Hello there. We come here after a calisthenic dance group we're part of that meets twice a week. If you want to keep yourself going strong at our age, you have to make exercise just another part of the routine, you see? That makes sense. What can I get you? I'll have the usual, dear. Yes, I'll take the usual as well. The tea here is always so good, isn't it? Traveler, can I tempt you to try some of this country's special dessert? It would be a tale to add to your collection. And for our part, we'd love to hear stories from beyond the wall. I wish I could. But it's too late. Just finished polishing one off. Oh, that's too bad. Tell you what, how about tomorrow during morning tea? Hey, Kino, you gonna eat another one? Won't be hard with two of us. Planning to stay in our country for a while or just passing through? That. I'll be setting out after this. Ah, uh, fair enough. From the sound of things, you've been through a great number of countries already. How far will this journey take you? I'm not sure. Ah. Uh then perhaps your motorcycle might know. <laughs> no way. Hmm. Well, then hey, if you've no clear destination, why not settle in this country? If I may say so, I think a person like you would fit in well. A person like what? A person who is able and willing to kill. Well, seems I misjudged, forgive me. Thanks for the company and for the treat. I was happy to hear all your stories from the road, so no, thank you. You're too kind. It was good to meet you. Ha! I found you! Mm? Yeah, that's right, you! The brat on the motorcycle! What do you want? I want you to grab your stuff and put it on the ground. Why would I do that? Your travel gear must be pretty heavy, right? I'm offering to relieve you of it. I'll make use of what I can. The rest I plan to sell for cash. That'll help fund my new lifestyle. No, thank you. You get it? If you turn me down, I'll fill you with holes and take it after. So you've joined this country, then? As of this morning, I'm now a bona fide citizen. Maybe, but you don't act like one. Huh? <laughs> Why should I give a damn? You giving up or not? I decline your offer. Well, that's all there is to say, then. Hermes, sorry, but I might need your help here. It's fine. Just patch the holes up later. What are you yapping about? Uh, get up, you damn coward! You're not even gonna draw? What are those pistols on your hips, just a bluff? Fair question. Fine, if you're not gonna fight, then stay still. And I'll make your death clean. Oh, shit! 
Oh shit! Who oh, shot me? What is this? What's wrong with you people? Huh? Shot, but you need to be careful since we're all in a circle. Imagine if you missed and hit one of us. Why, that would be just awful, hell? wouldn't it? Give me my. You shot me again? Why? Why'd you do that? Hey, why in the hell did you get in my way? I think you know. What you were doing was wrong. What is that? What's so wrong with it? I don't Dude. know where you come from, but in this land, the country I call my home, murder is not permitted, nor is its attempt allowed to go without punishment. Shut your lying mouth! The whole reason I came to this piece of shit place is because I heard that murder's legal here! You're right about that much. It's no crime. And that is why all of us are gathered here today. Here, here. Exactly right. Couldn't have said it better. <laughs> what the hell are you people talking about? You see, in this country, those who have killed another, those who have tried to kill another, and those who are trying to kill another, are instead killed themselves by the people united. You've got to be kidding me! That doesn't make sense! Murder is legal here. That's the reason you came, is it not? This little tradition of ours falls well within the rules. <laughs> Screw you! Who do you think you are? Who am I? Oh, no one special, that's for sure. Just an average citizen. A nice old man who goes by the name of Rago. <laughs> Sorry to do this. But you see, you're dangerous. Wait, Regal? <laughs> it's never easy killing another. Safe travels to you. Thanks. <gasps> hey, it's a horse. Yeah. Looks like someone's there. Let's stop. Say hi. Hey. Afternoon. Hello. Tell me, are you from the country up ahead? Nah, I'm traveling right now. Although my friend and I did spend the last few days visiting there. I see. Could I ask you something? What is it? Thing is, I rode a very long way to try to get to that country. Because I heard it was safe. Do you know? Is it true? Yeah, no doubt about that. Though, to what extent, might depend on your perception of things. My home country. It was not a good place. I had to fight just to stay alive, and I killed a lot of people there. Decent men that just wanted to live normal lives. I never want to kill again. I want to live somewhere safe. In that case, you'll like it there. Even if it seems a bit wrong at first, stick it out. Really? Thank you. Well, we'll be on our way. Oh, I wanted to know one last thing. Uh, well, forget it. That's a weird thing to ask about. I'm heading there now. I'll find out soon. Farewell, then. Yeah. I wonder if it's true what they say. That in that country, they serve mountains of crepes for dessert. Hey, Kino. 
What's up? I've been meaning to ask this for a while now. Why only spend three days in each country? There was a traveler I met a long time ago who said that was about the perfect length. Huh. Good to know. Kino, you asleep yet? Yes, quite asleep. Motorcycles are happiest when running, and going on a journey means running every day. Therefore, we love to travel. Okay, where is this coming from? Sheesh, don't you know what a soliloquy is? You mean a syllogism. That's what I said. What about it? Well, mostly I just like similes, but then I got to wondering why you decide to keep traveling. I mean, I know you don't have a place to call home, but you've been in so many rough situations on the road. Nearly been killed, even. Don't you ever think about finding a place to settle down? <laughs> as good of a shot as you are, I bet you could find a job anywhere. Or you could have made a living back at Master's place. You're right. A reasonable person would have stopped by now. Yeah? And why are you so unreasonable? <sighs> well... This might not make sense, but... Coliseum. 